Can you hear us okay? Yeah. Right. We'll see if we get some questions here. If you hang up for one second. All right, Gilbert, go ahead. You're muted. You're on mute. Yep. Gilbert, you got Thank us. you. Yeah, you got me, Tyron. Uh, wanted to ask you about the the touchdown. How was that for you? And getting that, uh, um, for sure, a special moment for you. Uh, it, it most definitely was a special moment, but you know, uh, hopefully uh, we could have got the win, but it didn't go like that. So I trade the touchdown for the win any day. Yeah, I, I, is is that kind of hard to swallow that loss? You know, you guys are very close in, and you had a good start with yourself there with that with that touchdown bomb. But uh, you know, I guess what do you kind of take away the most from a loss like that? It's just tough you know, when you when you got guys that fight all the way to the finish and lose. Uh, hard to really uh, come up with something to say after the game. Some motivation, but uh, at the end of the day, we got to win and uh, just get back to work and focus on the wall. How was the locker room after the game? I, you guys have been very close in all these games, but you just can't get it done at the end. Is it still a, a pretty upbeat locker room? I mean, it's a locker room after you lose. I mean, you, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough to win games in this league, and uh, our guys do a good job at not pointing the finger and, and just li uplifting each other. So uh, that's good, but uh, you got to win. Got to win in this league. And Tyron, I know it's kind of tough to put the, the game aside, but just for you to kind of get back to this level, being active from practice squad and getting the touchdown, just overall, what does it mean for you to kind of get back to this level of football? Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, it, for my own uh, expectations, uh, that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, so I waited, I waited out my life for that moment, and I took advantage of the opportunity. Are, are you pretty close to guys like uh, Jalen Guyton and all the other receivers on this team? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it seemed like a lot of guys stepped up, like you, Donald, Jalen, guys that maybe were undrafted, second-year guys. Uh, you guys are kind of pretty resilient group. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we just try to um, get better every day. We go against our defense every day, which is a top defense in my eyes. We go against every day. They make us better. So uh, so we just try to push each other, uh, study together, uplift each other, and really just try to make plays for the team. Thank you, Tyron. Appreciate it, man. Fernando Ramirez, go ahead. Tyron, can you just talk about the moment where you score that touchdown and Keenan Allen comes running up and some of the other guys come running up and they celebrate with you? I mean, just the camaraderie that you guys have as not only a football, as not only a receivers group, but as a team in general. Oh, yeah. That would uh, Coach Preach this week, bringing the juice. And uh, I'm known for bringing the juice in practice. So uh, I, guess, I guess when I scored, uh, I got the team energized because I'm one of them hard workers. Uh, that were coming every day in work and uh, don't get a chance to play. So when I got my chance to play, uh, everybody was excited for me and happy for me. Well, what was the emotion like for you yesterday when you found out that you were activated to the team and you were going to play today? It, it was a lot of emotion. Uh, I thought about my uh, high school career. I thought about my college career. I just thought about uh, how hard I worked to get to the point. And uh, it was a surreal moment, and I had to uh, make the best of it. And where do you go from uh, from here? Uh, where do you go from here now as a as a receiver? You had your first catch, your first touchdown catch. Uh, what is this uh, this next week all about for you? Uh, just building, uh, coming to, coming to work with the same mindset uh, like I always been having, and uh, just just putting that behind me. Just like a bad play, you gotta put it behind you. you gotta put your good play behind you. Too. Are you there? Oh. Looks like we froze up for a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a little noise. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, just can you talk about uh, your phone must have blown up uh, during the game, just family members, uh, anybody special message you or anything like that? Definitely, definitely my family, friends, old coaches. They was all excited for me. I got a text and call uh, to go get some old calls later today. But uh, I appreciate my family. And my friends, they, they are so excited for me. They see me being yeah. playing again. I appreciate it, Ty, uh, Tyron. Congratulations. Appreciate it, man. We got, we got a couple more here with uh, Amanda Skurlock. Right, 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 right. Okay, so what kind of observations did you have from just watching the second half? And what lessons could you kind of learn from just kind of how the how offense was going in the second half? I mean, to me, uh, it's obvious uh, when you got a lead, you got to keep a lead. And uh, when you're up on a team like somebody with Tom Brady, TB12 at quarterback, you got to finish him. I mean, you can't give somebody like that life, uh, they, they will hurt you. And that's what happens. All 
All right, we're all set, Tyron. Thank you. Appreciate it.